What's going on today guys? I hope you guys are doing well. If you can't tell my voice is a little weak. I actually had just had surgery earlier this week on Tuesday and I uh, got my tonsils removed and it's kind of hard for a person of my age to go through that. So if I'm a little soft spoken today, that's why. But that is not going to stop us from doing something awesome. We're going to go be looking at another four-wheeler. So we're going to hop in the car here and uh, we're going to go get my buddy Matt because he's going to drive us down there get his trailer we're gonna check it out together hopefully this is the one I'm, I'm super stoked about it and uh, it might not be the option you guys wanted but it's what I can do now and uh, hopefully it looks really good in person so we're gonna head down there now I'm gonna head over to Matt's I'm gonna go to the bank pull some cash out just in case and then uh, we're gonna see if it looks good so stay tuned and uh, enjoy the intro raining outside but we got the money stopped by the bank and we're just about to pick up Matt so let's get Matt in here and then uh, see what we, if we can go ride this quad we made it heck yeah got a little trailer right there so I'm gonna back up to it get all loaded up Matt what's up have you seen my goats you, you have goat what I don't know if you can zoom that far underneath that little shelter uh huh. Yeah, they're all hiding in the rain. Those are your goats? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think that's gonna fit on there. Uh, you got your key? Yeah. Okay. Okay, sweet. <laughs> this trailer's gonna feel like nothing. We're gonna do launches on this thing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried anything with this small of a hitch. <laughs> Lord. What are you talking about, iPad? This? No, the screen, like the scenic view. Oh, dude, you like the scenic view? Name a bunch of rappers and pretend that you forget me, but now I tell you has got it all figured out. I don't really gotta take so long. Alright, so it looks like we're pulling somewhere. This looks kind this of strange. Like dead end road here. Yeah, it looks like we're about to get. On the side of the highway. You bring anything? Yeah, I got my heat. Okay, sweet. We got the heat. But yeah, we're about to pull up. We're about to check this thing out. I'm going to record on my phone. I don't really want to get out with my big camera. He might get a little weirded out by the big camera. So I'm going to use my phone. We're going to check this thing out. We're going to make sure this thing's not a piece of crap like the last one I got was. So we're going to do that. We're about to pull in, and Matt's about to miss the turn. Jesus, I'm about to get a concussion with my throat cut open right now. I right. get your views, right? Sweet. Let's uh, let's see what. Hopefully, it's clean. All right, we made it. We're about to go play some basketball. If not, this thing's just out right here. I'm gonna do a three pointer. Trailer made it. So let's uh, see what we got going on here. Big, big Mopar guy. <laughs> this thing's so nice. That was uh, you know what's crazy? I just sold my street bike and uh, oh, okay, it was from a. Uh, from a buddy uh, from Goldsboro. Oh, really? Okay. Not a, I'm sorry, not a buddy, but a guy. You got the, dude, he's going to grab the cool start, too, so you can get okay. it. Yeah, running absolutely. It's cold and all that good stuff. So. Yeah. So, um, dude, this is what you need, Matt. For sure. Cool. 140. Dude, I bet that'd be fun. And 140 is for sale too. Matt, it's, it's all you. Well, I just uh, that's got. This is probably the only one you're gonna find. The bike. I'm the third owner. Sweet. My buddy really has clean. it. My buddy had it before me. Military bought it uh, from another guy. He traded car trailer and the guy gave him cash too with for the four wheeler. Nice. But it was around 16 or 17, so it was like brand new. Yeah. Uh, when my buddy got it, he is in the military, so he's always gone. It, it was every, it was riding every now and then, probably yeah. two or three rides on it since he had it. Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't and have any hours on it. Yeah, when I got it, yeah, exactly. You can tell by the this is all everything you see is factory plastic. Uh, Sweet stickers except the wheels. Uh, I I just put those on. It might have a, a run around the neighborhood probably one time. Sweet, one or two times, but it still yeah. has the nipples where you can tell. Oh, it's absolutely. Still brand new tires. Yeah. Um, but put those on. Um, brand new brakes all the way around. Fresh oil change from last year. Sweet and. Uh, the only thing I didn't do was change the coolant. The coolant still looks good, but if it was me, I would drain and refill the coolant. But that's yeah. that's the only thing I really, uh, as far as the bike, I didn't do a spark plug or anything like that because it's always been a flawless bike. And yeah. fuel injected, if you ride fuel injected versus Car carburetor, just so much better. That's two difference. Now I, did, I totally agree, but the throttle yeah. response, motocross track on these versus a 400EX, two different. Like oh, yeah. you think I'm way up in the air, and I'm like, that's not what I expected, and. Um, is that what you took it? You did, took it to some no, tracks and stuff? No, we go to Busco Beach. Okay, yeah. And uh, we always hit that track. I'll do like a lap, just a 400. I have my 400, and I probably went there once for this bike, but uh, yeah. my 400EX, I just, you can floor them, them 400EXs the whole time and just, you know, and just go with it. Uh -huh. This one was like, 
it threw me off one time. It came up too fast. I didn't have it dialed in whatsoever. <laughs> and it was a 400. I was like, so I got to pop it up. It threw me off. But he has a <laughs> video of me falling off, and it was just going like this. That's so uh, funny. Um, yeah, these seem to be a little more of the powerful 400. These are strong. Yeah. They, they have a good name. They had a good name when the carburetors were out. Yeah. Trust me. Absolutely. And it's, it's, this has been probably one of the, you know, you got to sell toys to get new toys. So oh, yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, all my toys are leaving to... I'm getting back into fishing real good with my son, and there you go. it's something me and him can do. Yeah, so my toys absolutely. are getting sold to get me a bass boat. So nice. Um, I hate to see this one of these go too, especially my street bike. But the, the kid, that kid's smile was like it was worth it. Oh <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, when yeah, I seen absolutely. him, he come. He took. I gave my helmet. He took it uh -huh. off, and he was just. I remember that uh, when I was probably night, probably twenty when I got mine. Mm -hmm. You know them jitters that that oh, first yeah. that first feeling. It was. I was. And it's just like these. These are the same way. But oh, yeah. It just sucks because you'll know you'll never get another one like that. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, uh, it does have the push bar dent. I don't know. There I can go. do that when right. I have it. Uh -huh. I meant to put a bumper on it. Didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, you said the push bar's bent. Yeah. I mean, those, oh, you know, those are yeah. super simple. Yeah. It, it was. It wasn't enough for me to be. Yeah. I didn't really care, so I left it like that. I put an LED light on it. Oh yeah, that looked really good. And yeah. It's got. It's got low beam. It don't have high beam. Cause okay. LED. Yeah. yeah LED. Sweet. I wonder if you can adjust all the suspension and stuff. I mean, I imagine you can. It's a good bike. Yeah, this is really clean. Dude, this thing rides so good. I don't know, boys. It's pretty nice. Kind of want it. It's fast. So fast. I think we might just have to do it, dude. All right, guys. Well, just gave the money. The tars. I think it's a good purchase, Matt. What do you think? I think, it's, I think it rips. It's you think fun. it's pretty fast? Oh, for sure. Dude, it, it took I ain't rode a 400 in a while, but it, it's pretty nasty. For, for a 400, it's the fastest one of this class, so I think it's a great bike. It it's looks so good, like on camera. I mean, it looks good in person, but it looks cool on camera. Yeah. LED headlights are my favorite part. <laughs> Woo! Great to Bro, what? What do you got? What'd he give you? Bro, what did he just get you? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, I got a jack. Bro, you got a jack. Dude, that's a you. pretty nice jack. Alright guys, I needed to come in here and say before you proceed with the video is that I need to explain a little bit. So, we took the four-wheeler home, you know, ready to ride the next time I do. As you guys know, I got my tonsils removed, told you in the beginning of the video, so it's a little hard for me to talk, and so I was really feeling all of it at the end of the day, and I didn't really want to do a walk around video, and I still really am struggling to talk now, but I do need to explain what happened in the rest of the video. So we took it home, as I said, put it in the garage, and the next day I'll ask my sister, as you guys will see in the video, if she wanted to go and take it around the neighborhood for a spin. Now, I used to ride four-wheelers growing up all around my uh, in neighborhoods and everything like that, and I figured, I did it across town, my parents have moved, and this neighborhood should be the same. But the catch is that it's not. Apparently, the cop that pulled me over here in a few minutes told me that the neighborhood's technically a town, and so that's why he pulled me over and that they're not allowed to be ridden in the neighborhood. And we were riding across the dam in this part that's in the neighborhood, as you guys will see here. And as soon as I get done recording that video, I look behind me and there's a cop at the beginning of the dam. We were in the middle. And so I was like, great. He's going to say something to me. He's going to pull us over and say something to us. So that's exactly what he did. He pulled us over. Taking my little sister for a ride on the floor with her. Just, just second day I got it. Got pulled over. So, dang it. Probably one of them to get this, but <laughs> we were just cruising around, man. It's 85 degrees out here. It feels good. And he essentially told me that he'd been looking for another person who had been coming in and riding four-wheelers in the neighborhood, but I wasn't the same guy. And I told him I was just taking it for a spin. I got it the night before. I hadn't had a chance to ride it yet. My sister wanted to go for a ride. And he ended up being pretty decently cool about it. Now, usually when you get a ticket, the cop usually takes your license, goes back to his car for about 30 minutes, and then comes back. Usually when you get a warning, they just run your license really quick, walk back up, let you go. Well, this cop sat in his car about 20 minutes, and so I was like, how am I getting a ticket? I was riding a four-wheeler in second gear. I saw 
the speed check thing, it said I was going 25 in a 35. How is he gonna give me a ticket for just riding a four-wheeler through a neighborhood? Like, there's no way. Well, it's been about 15 minutes now. So, let's see how this goes. This is pretty funny. Love it. I love it. So he finally walked up to me and said, I have to be somewhere, but this could have gone definitely so much more different. And I was like, it's really not that big of a deal in my eyes. So he gave me a warning for no registration for some reason. And this actually happened on April Fool's Day. So I went back and told my parents and family that I got a ticket. So it was a great April Fool's joke. Yes, that is how I got a warning ticket on my brand new four-wheeler the day after I bought it. I'm gonna be making a whole writing video and reason video of why I got a 400 instead of a 450 in the next video. I'm gonna take it out to Busco with the side-by-side, -side, so it should be a great video. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you guys can laugh at my troubles, and I hope you guys will have a good week, good video. I hope we'll be making videos again on the regular soon. My throat is killing me right now, and I hope you guys will have a good evening. Peace out. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, this is MC Production Garage's new video. Go subscribe. Go subscribe to Ryan Larkins. Yeah. <laughs>